Rub up your engines! Well, the co-founder of Facebook says Tesla committed consumer fraud on a massive scale and says they're going to end up in jail, right? This doesn't have anything to do with what they're actually making, their electric cars, right? It's that they lie about the figures saying that they sold more they made profit when they didn't make a profit Duskin Moskowitz co-founder of Facebook says and I quote this is Enron now folks they may keep going but people are going to jail at the end I hate to bust the bubble but when it came to the Enron fiasco all that money they covered it all up right different law for the rich and then for the poor the middle class people right the Facebook guy says Tesla's data is presented in fraudulent ways and it doesn't say what they claim it says even when they make it up. Well, there's Elon just make stuff up, right? The problem is they're saying they're making a profit with stuff and they actually aren't. Now, the same thing seems to be going on with their Starlink crap for internet, right? They're saying, oh, we're breaking even now and it looks like they didn't break even at all. Some guy claimed they were losing hundreds of dollars for every single unit they sold out to people because it cost so much money to put those satellites in outer space and they're low orbit jobs and they're tiny so they only last a while and they crash back down to Earth while they burn out in the atmosphere mainly because they're so small right but they got to keep putting new ones up that cost a small fortune right and of course as time goes on technology increases and older technology like that is no longer viable and use your wireless for Verizon T-Mobile has it right well it's faster and it's cheaper than what Elon's selling it's like 50 bucks a month Elon's much more expensive and it's much slower too like I said technology goes on he's got these things in outer space they're there he can't change them right and they're actually quite slow for what you pay it may be a complete disaster all that Starlink stuff right well with his cars it's the same way he seems to be making up figures of how much he's selling how much money he's making to keep the stock up so that he can cash in on his stuff that's that's probably one of the reasons the Delaware court said you can't get these billions of your remuneration package because it was a sleazy deal and it wasn't fair to the shareholders right now he's trying to get the shareholders to vote to give them the money good luck on that one <laughs> if you don't make any money hey just make up that you're making money you know I mean all things just you, you couldn't make this stuff up if you put it in a movie people would say oh that movie is so unbelievable they just made the whole thing up well in this case they seem to be making up a lot of stuff and getting away with it for quite some time right eventually the rubber has to hit the road there's going to be a point where people who don't have any interest in electric cars aren't going to buy them they're going to have the market saturated for people who wanted to buy them they already bought them new people will not want them and it will flop like a lead balloon well here we go again now federal legislatures are finding Tesla autopilot has serious critical safety gap that's linked to hundreds of collisions and deaths yeah hang on full self-driving what a little baloney that was right Hollywood even allowed to say something like that is beyond me but hey that's the world these days right now the federal authorities say that their autopilot system contributed to at least 467 collisions and 13 fatalities as the Fed said Tesla's autopilot design has led to foreseeable seeable misuse and avoidable crashes it did not sufficiently ensure driver attention and appropriate use and of course Tesla said oh we got an update we'll do a software update that'll solve it didn't solve anything of course you know I mean it's kind of ridiculous and then you know here's the government what do they say suggested in his report that the software update was probably inadequate leading to more crashes linked to the autopilot after it had been updated you can't fix everything with the software update maybe old Elon needs to upgrade his own software in his head Tesla's has got enough problems as it is other than the federal government looking into crap that they're doing well GM's at it again they've just been hit with another class action lawsuit over that eight-speed automatic transmission that they have now of course GM didn't fix the problem because it would have cost them too much money and a lawsuit claims that there's a built-in defect and the valve bodies contribute to a crash because they don't shift right they weren't designed right they bubble air and then they screw up GM offered transmission fluid flushes free of charge for the 214 to 2019 transmission but did not recall any of them GM didn't want to replace the transmission because it would have cost them too much money the cost according to analysts would have been 592 million dollars so 
They're not going to spend that money. Oh, yeah, the flush of transmission. It's another probably thing where GM has a design flaw. They won't admit it. They try to hide it, just like they did with that ignition switch fiasco, where they pretended there wasn't an ignition switch problem. They knew about it. The cars were dying while people were driving them. People were killed in wrecks, and they had to pay a bunch of money after a fact because they didn't fix it in the first place. They even did stuff like had a replacement switch that was a different number, so you wouldn't notice that it's not that part that's wrong because it's a different number, right? I mean, it's just ridiculous some of the crap that they've pulled now GM said that well we fixed it in our eight-speed transmission in the current generation Colorados and canyons we upgraded the eight-speed so they admitted they upgraded and fixed it but they didn't fix the ones that they didn't build right in the first place you know the irony here just goes on it, it just is endless right well uh, don't worry our new ones we fixed that problem yeah but you didn't fix the old ones that you knew you built wrong right oh we'll flush your transmission that doesn't fix the problem there's an underlying problem they don't want to fix it because it would cost them too much money well i'm always warning people don't buy these chrysler eco diesels you know basically it's italian design made in italy these diesel engines right and i laugh I said they really are eco diesel because they don't pollute because they blow up and they don't run anymore and they can't pollute if they're not running right they just sit there like a lawn ornament Chris sent me this email get this my wife's cousin has a 2018 eco diesel lemon his whole family is peed off back in March my cousin's wife got a phone call to come pick it up because the truck stopped working it was knocking with a big bang took it to the Chrysler dealer they said well a rod went through the engine block and it's going to cost $28,000 then my husband emailed the CEO of Chrysler to see if anything could be done to help out considering we had the truck less than a year and only put 13,000 miles on it and our warranty just ran out in September after multiple calls they said oh well this arose from a lack of maintenance because the engine seemed dry of course it's going to be dry because the rod blew and all the oil leaked out of it we properly maintained it even a dealership that sold us the vehicle did a proper inspection and said everything was fine many mechanics online said there's typically mechanical engine failure in the fourth and fifth cylinder try to contact chrysler but i've got no response you know you get even with chrysler don't buy their products they make junk and you're going to be stuck with it right these eco diesels are the worst engines ever made i believe they're on their third generation now now, generation one and two failed miserably and three doesn't look like it's doing all that hot either if you don't understand the difference between gasoline and diesel engines diesel engines use pure compression to fire the fuel they don't have an ignition source so they have to have an extremely large amount of pressure right well that means they have to be built extremely strongly because there's tons more pressure inside the engine well these piles of junk eco diesels that are made in Italy they can't take the pressure and they keep blowing up I've seen it. I had one customer that went through three engines. The first one went, second one, but now he's out of a warranty, and certainly that'll go, and then he'll have to pay out of his own pocket. This is why you don't buy their products. They're garbage. They can talk all they want with a bunch of nonsense, but you go back in the past when Chrysler was an American company and Ram was an American company, right? The engines that they use were really good diesel engines. They weren't Italian junk eco diesel engines. But oh no, we're an Italian company. We can use Italian diesel engines. Boom. So I warn you, you gotta research what you're buying. Where's that engine made? Italy. No thanks. I don't want it. And if enough people don't buy it, guess what? They can't sell them in the United States. Maybe they can sell them to fools in Europe. Their biggest seller worldwide are Fiats, but they only sold 685 of them in the United States last year. Maybe the rest of the world's dumb enough to buy these Fiats. We aren't. And people should wise up. Do not buy these diesel engines that are made in Italy. They're crappy engines. Well, I tell you the dealerships are scumbags. Well, listen to this one. Buttercoat sends me an email. Honda not honoring their complimentary maintenance. I purchased a brand new Honda the pilot last year the car has complimentary maintenance at 7500 miles they're supposed to change the oil and rotate the tire now i changed my oil at 5000 miles so i went in at 7500 and the dealership wouldn't give me a complimentary oil change they said you changed it to five that changed it it's ridiculous that they expect you to go more than 5000 miles without changing your oil under normal circumstances you want to change it every five oil's cheap engines are expensive right now the honda they should have been nice and said okay you changed it at five we'll change it at 7500 which is 2500 miles later right and then you could change it 5000 miles after that and then when it got to you know 15000 miles then they could change it again if they're gonna you know do something like that but they wouldn't well you changed it so we're not going to we went they're like babies they don't want to give you something for nothing the only reason they give this complimentary oil change crap is because they try to sell you stuff go in for 
free or complimentary free oil change. Well, you need this, you need that, you need this. Oh, you got to do this, you got to do that. Do this. I've had people go in and they get $1,200 bills for their free oil change. The oil change is free, but everything else, they have to pay a fortune. That's why you stay away from these people. Something is free and they say it's free it's not free they're just feeling they're free to rip you off and charge you for all kinds of stuff you probably don't need they should have at least changed the oil for the guy you know talk about petty people they sold you that honda pilot for an awful lot of money right but they won't even do the oil change because oh man man you changed it earlier earlier makes it last longer sort of like they're underhandedly say Ah, oh, we want that engine to wear out, so don't change the oil very often. You know, when the warranty's up, hey, that's the end of it. They only have a five-year, 60,000-mile powertrain warranty, and if you know anything about that, you bring them in if the engine goes, well, you didn't maintain the car right or something's wrong. We're not going to give you another engine, then if we want to give you another engine, right? <laughs> But I see it all the time at dealerships. Dealerships, they might as well call them stealerships, right? Those guys have millions of dollars overhead. They got to make millions before they even break even. So, of course, they're going to try to charge you. And they don't do anything for free. They only have that free stuff to suck you to come in and sell you stuff. So, if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.